Dead Island 2 is a large, action-packed game with a lot going on. These tips will have you traversing Hell A's streets like an expert in no time. While Dead Island 2 is undoubtedly a game about battling zombies, it is also reasonable to argue that exploring is an important aspect of the game. Unlocking doors, discovering hidden nooks and crannies, and basically investigating every map from top to bottom to identify all the events and crucial things will be your task. Tip 5. Benefit from the quiet moments. One of Dead Island 2's favorite gimmicks is to drop you into a quiet, bleak setting. Typically, this results in a direct path to an objective marker and a subsequent influx of zombies ready to rip your face off. However, despite how spooky and unpleasant these times are, they also present a fantastic chance to scout the area for hidden treasures. When you arrive at Ocean Avenue, this is one of the nicest instances. The entire map is mostly vacant. This enables you to go gather papers that are scattered throughout the globe, recognize landmarks, and generally acquire a sense of the location. There won't be another time when the region is as calm once you pass that checkpoint. Use those calm times as tension-building opportunities to explore the map. Tip 6. What should be done about all those locked doors and safes? There are a ton of locked doors, locked safes, and doors that appear to have no way to be unlocked as you explore the luxurious residences of Hell A and Pillage and plunder your way through them. We are aware that in the beginning, we devoted a significant amount of effort to looking for the keys to enter these locations. That was hardly a productive use of time, though. The majority of the keys you're hunting for won't be discovered until later via side tests. However, as you unlock merchants, you will start to be able to buy fuses if you're seeking for them. Fuse purchases may only be made in this manner. But there is one major exception. Killing the local zombie population will let you to open some vehicles, crates, and vaults. You can usually tell when the key is on a nearby zombie since you will be instructed to use the coach's key, or the electrician's key, instead. It is more probable that you will discover the key on one of the zombies ambling about the neighborhood if it belongs to a class of worker rather than a named NPC. If you search for them and are unsuccessful, they could not show until much later in the game. Every map you've explored will eventually be overrun by zombies if you start to unlock their particular classes. If one of these spawn points appears on the map close to a locked safe or door that you are hunting for a certain zombie to open, there is a strong likelihood that it is that zombie. Sam, if we're immune, we need to tell the authorities. I'm part of the CDC team in LA. You don't.